Steve Hansen came into his press conference afterwards, pretty classy. He congratulated Joe Schmidt and, and Rory Best. Then he said, look, Kieran Reid was phenomenal, which he was. Answered all the criticisms. I suppose this year, people have kind of been questioning his place. He was he was sensational. Probably one of his best games ever. And then he congratulated Ian Foster, his assistant coach, the attack coach, for essentially over 11 months. You know, you think that's not possible really at, at the top level for kind of transforming how they played, certainly in personnel um, and probably just in simplifying everything. That That's the thing about New Zealand. They're, you know, it's not easy what they do, but it's simple. Um, like Owen, it's brilliant sitting beside him in, in press rooms because he'll, he'll open the laptop and show you a little example. And he mentions the kicking there. That first bomb, he, he was going through the clips with me. The first bomb from Moanga just puts a doubt in Carney's mind. And then later in the game, it, it just affects his positioning in the backfield. And, and then suddenly there's space for a kick pass. We mentioned some of the tip on passes as well. Like that's a, a basic skill that they've absolutely nailed um, and makes them so hard to play against. Every single player is comfortable I suppose making decisions on the ball, they've all got really good individual skill levels. And, and again, like Owen, I'd love to hear your perspective on Ireland appear to have slightly faded and regressed with those skill levels. Like their passing hasn't been good this year consistently and, and they're dropping a lot of ball, obviously. Um, and even some of the other technical details seem to have kind of faded away, whereas New Zealand's individual technical skills were, were just superb, weren't they? Yeah, and I, I think a huge amount of emphasis is is placed on that in New Zealand training sessions. I've heard a statistic that each player needs to touch the ball a hundred times a day in training, and each each touch needs to finish with a pass. So they place a huge amount of um, value on their catch pass skills. Uh, they talk about their departure time of their forwards when they arrive at the gain line, depending on if it's front foot front foot ball, et cetera. And then that control that control of uh, foot speed allows that those tips to happen, Murray, that you're talking about, particularly when they're playing off 10, which I think is definitely an evolution of their play. They're now going 9, 10, 10 to the first forward, and then that first forward is tipping to a second forward. So that's that's a three-pass sequence against a hard press uh, defense in, in, that Andy Farrell uses. So... They've understood that they had to develop their game and their catch pass is a huge part of it. And they talk about that first step of their forward must be a for, uh, a step forward. So they're trying to keep all their forward ball carriers nice and square at the line. Um, so they, they, they have a framework to their attack and they obviously have a structure, but it's the individual skill levels within that framework that allows the ball carrier to make those decisions, whether to carry, tip or link. Uh, and then their backs... The, the triple threat of their backs, whether they run, pass, or kick, and and that's exactly why the the Moanga Barrett axis is is working so well. The, their uh, run pass kick ratio was really really nice at the weekend. I think I think Barrett had twenty runs, seventeen passes, and ten kicks. And Moanga had seven runs, twenty three passes, and fourteen kicks. So that's a, such a nice spread of your possession, with, and then it makes it really hard for defenses to know what you're going to do. There's there's not a predictability to your play, and and I think that's the beauty of New Zealand's attack. It's very very difficult to analyze because they have three three decisions every time they touch the ball, um, and that is predicated on an extremely high skill skill level, which probably at this moment in time the Irish players would not be at the same level, and probably why there's more of a kind of prescriptive structured uh, game that that the Irish team are playing. 